is Rob with SaveNet AT, and today we're integrating our Luna SA HSM for Government with PrimeKeys Enterprise CA, EJBCA. For this integration, I'm using an evaluation version of EJBCA provided by PrimeKey. This has already been installed and configured, but the HSM has not been attached yet. You'll want to make sure that you have the Luna client installed. We have other guides and videos that walk through that process. Once that's done, on the EJBCA server, if you change into the user SafeNet Luna client bin directory, you can run VTL verify to show that the partitions are available. I have assigned two partitions to this Luna client called PrimeKey HSM1 and PrimeKey HSM2. We can also verify that there are currently no objects stored on these HSM partitions by using the cmu list command. And we can see that both partitions are empty. Now that we've verified that the Luna client is set up and configured correctly and that the partitions are available, we can launch EJBCA. If we browse to the IP address of the server, we'll get to the welcome page. And from here, we can click on administration. The first step will be creating the crypto tokens that the certificate authorities will use. So under CA functions, click crypto tokens. And on the crypto tokens page, click on create new. The first token we'll create is the root CA crypto token. I've named this HSM root CA crypto token. For type, we'll select PKCS number 11. We'll assure that library is selected as SafeNet Luna Client. For reference type, we'll select slot slash token label. This will allow us to see the partition so that we can be sure we're selecting the correct partition. And we do have the first partition, prime key HSM1 selected. So now under authentication code, we'll enter the user password for that partition and we'll confirm that in the repeat authentication code. For the root CA, we will not select auto activation because typically this will be kept offline. Click Save to create this crypto token. Here at the bottom of the screen, we can create new keys. The first we'll create, we'll call sign key and select RSA 2048 and click on generate new key pair. We'll do the same thing for default key, also RSA 2048, and generate that key pair. Then we'll create a key pair called test key and select RSA 1024 and click generate new key pair. These three keys will be used for various functions of the certificate authority. Crypto Tokens page. Again, click Create New. And for this, we'll create the Issuing CA Crypto Token. I've named this HSM Issuing CA Crypto Token. Change the type to PKCS number 11. For reference type, select Slot Token Label. And now under Reference, we'll select the second partition. Again, we'll enter the partition password under Authentication Code and Repeat Authentication Code. Also, for the issuing CA crypto token, we'll select the option for auto activation. This way, the issuing CA will remain online and be able to process certificate requests. Now, on the summary page, we have an option to create keys. First key we'll create is the sign key, RSA 2048, and click generate key pair. Then we'll do the same for default key, also RSA 2048, and generate. And then we'll create a test key, which will select RSA 1024 and generate that key pair.
Now on the crypto tokens page, we can see that we have both our issuing CA crypto token and root CA crypto token created, and we've created the necessary keys on them. We can also verify here that the issuing CA is set to auto activation. Now under CA functions, we'll select certificate profiles, and our first step will be to clone the root CA profile. And I'll name the clone HSM root CA cert profile. Now we can click on edit for this profile. For available key algorithms, we'll select only RSA. Under available bit lengths, we'll select 2048, 3072, and 4096. Under CRL distribution points, I'll click on Use so that we can issue CRLs. And this will auto-populate the CRL distribution point URI. This can be modified for your particular environment. Under Other Data, we will uncheck the Use box for LDAP DN order. This allows greater compatibility with other systems and then we'll click Save. For the issuing CA, we'll go back to the Certificate Profiles page, and we'll clone the sub-CA profile. This clone will name HSM Issuing CA Cert Profile, and then click on Edit. We'll make sure type is set to sub-CA. Available key algorithms, RSA. For bit lengths, again, we'll select 2048 through 4096. We'll click Use for CRL, and we'll uncheck Use for LDAP DN order. And then click Save. We now have profiles for the HSM root CA certificate and the issuing CA certificate. Now if we click on CA functions, certificate authorities, we can create a new CA under the add CA section by putting in a name. Here I'll use HSM root CA and then click create. For the crypto token, we'll select our root CA crypto token. And we can verify that it correctly populated the keys for their usage the default key, sign key, and test key. Under Subject DN, we'll populate this field with an organization and country. Under Certificate Profile, we'll ensure that HSM root CA cert profile is selected. We'll enter a validity period. I've used 25 years and we'll uncheck LDAP DN order. Under the Default CA Define Validation Data section, for default CRL distribution point, we can click Generate to have it auto-populate that field with the local server. And now we click Create. Now that we have the root CA created, we can create the issuing CA. Under Add CA, we'll enter HSM Issuing CA and click on Create. For crypto token, we'll select the issuing crypto token. Again, we'll verify that all of these defaults are correct. For the subject DN, we'll populate this further with the organization and country fields. Under signed by, we'll select our root CA to sign the certificate. And for the profile, we'll select the issuing cert profile. For the issuing CA, I've selected 15 years for the validity. Under Default CA, Define Validation Data, 
We'll select Generate for the CRL distribution point. And because this is the issuing CA, we will monitor the health of the CA, so we'll click on Activate next to Monitor if CA is active for the health check. Then we click Create, and now we have our two CAs set up. Now if we click the link to the home page, we can see our list of CAs and verify that they are up and running. And this completes our integration of our SafeNet AT Luna SA HSM for Government with PrimeKey EJBCA Enterprise Certificate Authority.